Good morning to all of you. Today we are going to see the concept of elasticity and elastic limit from mechanics of solids. Last lecture we have seen what is mean by stress, what is mean by strain, what is mean by tensile stress, what is mean by compressive stress, what is mean by volumetric stress, okay, and what is mean by shear stress. Okay, today we are going to see the elasticity and elastic limit. What is mean by elasticity now? okay so when we, when you are going to apply any force on body the body tends to undergo some deformation and if the external force is removed and the body comes to its original shape and size means the deformation disappear completely the body is known as a elastic body okay you can see this video you take example of a rubber or the spring when you are going to apply external force on the spring or this rubber and when the moment we are you are going to remove that force the body is going to come to this original position or size and shape okay that is called as the elastic body okay you can see this video also this is still knife the body is going to deform and when deform and then when you are going to uh, remove that force the body comes to its original position size and shape okay so that is called as a elastic body and the property by virtue of which the certain material return back to their original position after removal of the external force it is called as a elasticity okay so simple thing is whenever you are going to apply the force on the body the moment when you are going the body strike go some deformation and when you are going to move that uh, force body comes to its original size and shape that is called as a that is that body is elastic body and the virtue of which this happen that is called as a elasticity okay and sometimes when you are going to apply body is not going to come in its original shape you can see this video see when you are going to apply the force body is not going to uh, uh, return to its again to its original size and shape okay so this is not a elasticity so hopefully you have got the concept now what is mean by elastic body and what is mean by elasticity okay the body will regain its previous shape and size only when the deformation caused the external force is within the certain limit means when you are going to apply the force to that spring or that rubber okay up to certain limit you have to apply that force okay thus there is a limiting value of force up to and within which the deformation completely disappear on the removal of forces if you are going to put extra pressure force on that so its body is not going to behave in an elastic limit so body is not going to regain its original size and shape okay the value of stress corresponding to this limiting force is known as the elastic limit of the material getting what is meant by elastic limit elastic limit is a limit within only the body is going to gain its original shape and size okay now this elastic limit we are going to see when we are going to study the mild steel under the universal testing machine okay that time i am going to tell you what is the elastic limit okay again once again so next is the important thing in elasticity and plasticity uh, elasticity sorry elasticity and and the strength of a solid material that is hooke's law what is hooke's law hooke's law is the ratio of stress to the strain okay within the elastic limit getting Hooke's law is state that the ratio of stress to corresponding strain produced in a constant within the elastic limits means stress is a directly proportional to the strain within elastic limit. Okay, so you can write Hooke's law is equal to here that elasticity is equal to stress directly proportional to the strain. Okay, and we can call this Hooke's law this constant we we can say as modulus of elasticity or modulus of rigidity or elastic modeling okay so hopefully you have understood the concept elasticity what is mean by elasticity limit elastic limit what is mean by hooks law next based upon this now we have seen the yesterday's lecture 
that stress strain okay and what is mean by elongation that all thing we have seen today we are going to see some problem on that concepts so this is one numerical i am going to take so this is numerical a rod 150 cm long and of a diameter of 2 cm is subjected to an axial pull of 20 kn if the modulus of elasticity of the material of rod is 2 into 10 to 5 newton per mm square so you have to determine which thing you have to determine stress you have to determine strain you have to determine and elongation of the rod we have to determine okay so how we are going to deal with this numerical so first thing we have to write down the given data what is given data we have given the length of rod that is 150 centimeter diameter of rod they have given 2 centimeter if i am going to convert that into mm that is 20 mm 1 centimeter is equal to 10 mm and based upon this diameter i can calculate the area of rod so circular diameter or oh sorry circular bar so pi by 4 into d square if i am going to put the value of diameter here 20 mm i am i am going to get the area in mm square so area here 314.15 okay and next they have given axial pull so axial pull here 20 kn if i am going to convert into newton so 20 into 10 dash to 3 here 1 kn is equal to always 1000 newton please remember this and next modulus of elasticity they have given so that value, <laughs> value of modulus of elasticity is 2 into 10 dash to 5 newton per mm square so based upon this given data i can calculate first the stress so stress formula i know so stress formula is equal to what is stress a uh, unit force a uh, force per unit area is called as a stress so force per unit area is p by a so p axial pull already have got the value so they have given the value 20 into 10 raised to 3 and the area here so i can get the value of stress into newton per mm square and that value is 63.5 Six, six. okay so i got the value of stress by using this formula sigma is equal to p by a next thing i am going to calculate the strain now i have the formula of strain what is mean by strain definition of strain it is a ratio of change in length to the original length okay so strain is equal to change in length into original length but in this formula now if you if you are going to see we have to calculate the strain and in problem in numerical they have not mentioned any change in length so e is unknown and change in length is also unknown so i cannot get the value two unknowns from the one equation so next thing they have given modulus of elasticity and modulus of elasticity if they have given i know the formula of hooke's law that hooke's law formula is that that stress is directly proportional to the strain within elastic limits okay so e i can write here modulus of elasticity e is equal to stress divided by strain and modulus of elasticity value i know so i am going to take this uh, uh, model of uh, modulus of elasticity to the right side at the numerator and i am going to take that eccentricity the strain value to the left side after putting the value of stress which already i have calculated here that value i am going to put here and then i am going to put calculate uh, putting the modulus of elasticity and i am going to get the strain value and the strain value is 0 0.00318 here okay so after getting the strain value next thing is elongation so i can calculate the elongation by using the strain formula again change in length to the original length now i know the strain in that bar so strain already i have calculated so strain value i'm going to put here and i'm going to calculate the missing thing that is change in length so here is the strain total bar length of bar is 150 centimeter and if i am going to put the value i am going to take this to the left side i am going to get the change in length and change in length is here 0 0.0477 okay so this is about the problem so hope that you people have understood to the given data if we know the modulus of elasticity if you know the force and if you know the length and diameter of the bar based upon that we can calculate the stress strain and the elongation in the material okay now text